So this is going to be our hike for today. It's called Jakutania Point Park, city of Skyway. Uh, you can hear over there the helicopters. They're ready to go for the tour. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we brought a bunch of people with us today. Uh, we're really, really excited. I'd say, as you can see, it's, it's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day. A little bit chilly, but come on, it's Alaska. <laughs> Be the flying drone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so today we're flying out drone, which is luck. And this is the iconic house here in Skyway. We're working right now in the main street. As you can see, it looks like the Wild Wild West. All this all time beautiful, beautiful city. We got these nice, beautiful stores. So, right now we're going hiking again. We're going to, there is a place where they have where we can make a barbecue, sit down there uh, next to the beach. Uh, first, we're going to the supermarket, get some food and then we'll see you there. So we decided to go for our coffee. Uh, right after the coffee we're going to supermarket. This is uh, one of the coffee shops here in Skagway. Uh, it's quite pricey to be honest everything in Alaska but you need to understand that they don't have many supplies. Okay so I got uh, well just drop it there it's uh, a BLT sandwich very light uh, with um, with bread, so really really good. Totally worth it. So Monica got the sun dried tomato sandwich. It's really well. It's with turkey. It's massive. So good. Very very tender. Yeah, it's the second time she's trying it. You know the sauce there. The dry tomato. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I want one now. <laughs> that could be us today, but it's not us. Next week we do it. Yeah. And this is our view at the moment. You can see our ship right there, the ovation of the seas. And you can see the water, how calm it is. Such a beautiful day. And uh, we're gonna start a challenge. Three, two, one. One, two, wow. Why you make eye contact? Come on. All right, yeah. Yeah, the eye contact is weird. Hey, Alejandro is the winner! Yeah. Twice, you know. What's up? So this is the way. It's a nice walk, uh, although <laughs> you have to watch your step when you're walking, it could be a little bit dangerous. 
but it's totally worth it. You can see the beautiful view here in Amway. You got to visit there all long. We decided to take his best shot. Giuseppe is enjoying his sandwich. Chips right here. And yes, finally we decided to fly our drone. You can see Chris Wong filming while I was flying my drone. All of us were having a lot of fun. Monica was very, very excited as she's the one who bought me this for my birthday. It was indeed a great day to fly our drone for the very first time. We got some great shots and also at the end I decided to fly the drone towards to the ship and we had to be careful that day because there were some plays around. Feel for flying the drone for the first time. It was amazing. I feel like a child. Was it easy? Hard? <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. But it was really nice. So <laughs> now we're going back. You can see the tray right here. The tray is going over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a magical place. It's very, very nice. We're going back to the ship now. That was an amazing day so far. Well, I actually do my stuff for some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, and some, uh, what are those donuts with the cinnamon and sugar? <laughs> uh, yeah. You will see. Yeah, well, no, they have a place here. Well, we'll show you later when we get there. Uh, they do like a kind of a donut with uh, sugar and cinnamon. Yeah, it's, it's quite good. <laughs> you have to heat them uh, hot though. You cannot let them get cold because they don't make right anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, today was an amazing day so far. We managed to fly the drone. We're very excited to show some footage later. And yeah, now off for the ice cream! Hi! So this is the Crown Company. It's the best place in town for ice cream and for punch. It's very, very delicious. Totally recommend it. <laughs> As you can see, there are many, many people. And you can see the long line, so you know this place is good. Yeah, it does not need advertisement. So yeah, there is a massive line. We have all the candies here. And the first there, and the line here for the ice cream. Ice cream. We always come here for the same one. Hi, can I have please a huckleberry cheesecake in a cone? One scoop, yeah, and another one with the mount mountain blackberry rebel. So I literally wanted this kind of ice cream because it has cinnamon, but he got me this one. No, 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 you ordered that one, Monica. I didn't oh, get you anything. <laughs> I got the video. This, uh, so this is the cheesecake ice cream yeah. with the raspberry. I'm having water. And this is a, uh, what's this one? I don't know, that, uh, I thought that's the one you, you want. This is the blueberry, but it has a cinnamon flavor, so this is the one that I want. So it goes with the cheesecake. No, you got the cheesecake, Monica. It's okay, it's on video, Chris. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> hey, we're hitting back now. It was an amazing day. Yeah, actually today, 
Well, you can see how fun it is. You can see the snow on top of the mountain. It was, uh, it was a beautiful day indeed. Now time for a nap. <laughs> so this is the one of the trains, whole trains they have here as an exhibition. Uh, this is a very, very famous place for the white route a uh, Yukon train. Uh, The White Pass and Yukon Route Railway is a Canadian and U.S. Class 3 freight and passenger railway linking to the port of Skyway, Alaska, with Whitehorse, the capital of Yukon, Canada. An isolated system, it has no direct connection to any other rail network. Service began in 1898 and ran until 1982, when it was temporarily shut down due to server damage during the construction of Klondike Highway. The railway was rebuilt the same year and has been operating continuously since. In 1988, the White Pass in Yukon Route Railway was acquired by British Columbia Railway, which operated until 2004. It was then sold to Carnival Corporation and now forms part of their Princess Cruises division, along with the Princess Tour in Fairbanks, Alaska. Thousands of people pour off cruise ships in Skagway each summer to explore the area. The railway has saved 5,000 to 6,000 people ride the train on a typical day. Carnival's purchase of the White Pass and Yukon Road will include three docks in Skagway that provide berths for some cruise ships. This is the limit between the United States and Canada. These are the flags of Alaska and Yukon, together with the American and Canadian flags. This route was highly treacherous, with the first 20 miles or 32 kilometers of the Tyre River described as the most dangerous stretch of river in North America. The scenery is fantastic, and this is a must-do in Skagway. Depending on what time of the year you take the train, you can see snow on top of the mountains or even bears hunting around the railway. Since we're crew members, we got a 50% discount on our tickets and paid only $68. In late 1897, three entrepreneurs from Skyway, Alaska, bought the White Pass, a trail originally used to miners in 1887 to cross the coast mountains from Skyway to the interior. The newcomers realized that the White Pass could be used to reach the Yukon gold fields after securing financial banking. It's essential to know that food is not served during the ride, so you might need to bring some snacks to calm your hunger during this time. Today, the railway operates excursion trains from Skagway to White Pass, Yukon. 
The trip takes about two hours each way and features commentary about the area's history and geography. And this is it for today guys, we really hope you enjoy our video and our train ride. Don't forget to subscribe, leave the comments below what you think about this ride. Remember this is a must do in Skyway. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video and like it. Thanks for watching and ciao, ciao for now. now.